Hey! Okay, so I've just come back from shopping and when I was there I bought loads of different things from Poundland and I wanted to share them in a video with you all. I've done a few Poundland related videos on my channel before. I've done the Poundland advent calendar, Poundland makeup and I think like Poundland baking kits, like testing baking kits. And every time I've done one, I've really enjoyed the filming process and also they're always really well received as well. So when I was in Poundland today, I was buying a few things and I thought I should make this into a video because there are some really cool things that you might not know are in Poundland that you could buy for yourself. So I've got two massive bags full. There's a little clue of something that I've got. Actually, I'll start with those. So here are some fake flowers. They're just fake yellow peonies. I already have some like this and I'll insert a picture of what they look like in my flat. But those are pink and white and yellow is actually my favorite color. So especially this kind of like pale pastel yellow. And I saw these and I wanted to add them to my little fake flower display. They have loads of different colors and styles of flowers and obviously fake flowers don't die. Logic. But I just wanted to add a bit of yellow to my, what's the word, arrangement. These next things are a bit weird, but if you know, then you know. Jubblies are so good. They are little like ice lolly tip top kind of things. This is a question. What do you call like ice sticks, like flavored sticks of ice? Where I grew up, we all called them tip tops which was in Coventry, so if you're from like the Midlands, do you call them tip tops? If you're not from the Midlands, well, what do you call them? It's kind of one of those debates, like what do you call a bread roll debate? And I got these because I used to have them when I was like at school and stuff, as like a snack, I guess. But I've only just noticed that they're only 19 calories or 17 calories, depending on what flavor you get, per lolly, which is amazing, especially because I'm counting my calories at the moment. Comment down below if you remember sun lollies as well, which were like Capricorn, same as these, but like Capricorn and some lollies. Those were like crack. They were so addictive. I used to have like 10 in a row. But yeah, they don't do them anymore. So this is the next best thing. I also got some tampons and tampons are really, really expensive, which is so annoying because they're not a luxury, but we'll not get into that debate right now. So I hate spending money on tampons, but when I go to Poundland, I always stock up because they are, you get eight for a pound basically. I also got some piping bags because I am an avid baker. However, I haven't done it in a really long time, mostly because I don't want to eat what I make, if that makes sense. Again, counting calories, try not to eat bad things. So I haven't made anything like sweet in a really long time, but um, I've got a friend's birthday coming up and I want to try and make some cupcakes for that. And uh, I miss it. I haven't done it in ages. I absolutely love baking. So I got some of these to kind of lure me back in. And along with that, I also got a little sieve, which is really nice. It's got like a cute nude handle. I'll get all the boring stuff out of the way. I also bought a cheese grater. So our old one broke, got a new one. I got a pair of oven gloves because we needed some new ones of those as well. Okay, so the next thing I got, which I thought was really cool, is this little light up box thing, which is in the shape of a cloud, but it has the um, slots so you can put letters in it. Basically it's this, but really small and in the shape of a cloud. Okay, good. So the only letters I have in the box are P, Q, R, Y, and Z. Um, right, that's so annoying. They must have all fallen out or something, or someone's like stolen them out of the box. I've just put the batteries in as well, and it's also missing the battery cover, so they keep popping out. So, so far, really good. Really, really good. Okay, ready? Can't even see it. God, that's crap. Okay, I don't recommend this thing, even though it is a pound. The batteries keep falling out. I've only got one letter R in there and you can see all the lights. Let me just turn the brightness down. Can you see? Next, I picked up some of these, which are party straws. And these are really cute. They're like yellow and pink and they've got flamingos and pineapples and lemons and watermelons on. So really summery. And we've got a little bar cart in our flat. So we use paper straws for that. And so I just needed some more. And these ones were really cute. I also got this, which is a slate heart. And you write messages on this in chalk. I don't really know what I'm going to use this for. But I was thinking we could maybe hang it on our front door. Because we've still got a hook on there from our Christmas wreath. And I thought I could put it on there and maybe write our flat number on there because whenever we get like deliveries or like food delivered or anything nobody can ever find our flat like it's really frustrating even if we give them directions on the buzzer they just still can't find it so hopefully if the door number is in massive letters on a big heart they can't really miss it although they probably still will i mean there's always the risk that someone's going to steal it but it was a pound so i don't really care if they do another slate thing this is just a slate 
um, matte. Yeah, just to like, <gasps> there's a chip in it. Oh my God, that's a massive chip. This is going so well so far. Okay, anyway, so this is basically just a slate mat to like display foods and stuff. Um, I don't really know why I got this, I just thought it was pretty cool. And we are lacking in like chopping boards and stuff, although I wouldn't chop anything on this, but like display boards, like food displays. With all the dinner parties that we have, yeah. Joking, we haven't had a single one. <laughs> And then I've got these, and I've got two packets of these actually because I love them so much. So these are light bulb string lights, and they look like little light bulbs, but they're fairy lights. I thought these were so, so cool. Also, a little side note, in Poundland at the moment, they've got some amazing garden things. Like, I wish I could have bought all of it, but we don't have a garden or even a balcony, so there'd been literally no point in me buying them. But they had so many, like, solar lights and like gardening stuff and flowers, seeds and stuff. It just looked so nice and I wish I had a garden. But anyway, I got these because I thought they would look really nice just somewhere in our flat. I really like the look of light bulbs and like those cool filament lights you can get. I love those. So I thought these were really cute. And for a pound, like you really can't go wrong. You only get five, so that's why I got a two pack. Um, but they're battery operated as well, so. Okay, so I've just put some batteries in. Let's see what they look like. Aw, cute. I really like those. I have no idea where I'm gonna put them. I've already got so many fairy lights in my house, but I'll find a place for them. Okay, so that was everything that I bought from Poundland this time round. I hope you like this video. I know it's a little bit shorter than usual, probably, um, but let me know in the comments down below and give it a thumbs up if you did like it and if you'd like me to do kind of cheap hauls, I guess, things you can buy from cheap places, because I think it's really handy to know like what's out there. I'm also gonna be doing a Q&A video really soon, so if you have any questions for me that you want to know, you can ask me anything and I'll try and answer everything within reason then just leave a comment down below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on twitter not actually don't follow me on twitter i literally never go on twitter anymore follow me on instagram that's a lot better thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye